Most of you are going to fail when trying to change your career into cybersecurity. And in this video, I'm going to go over how you can succeed in changing your career into cybersecurity. It has very little to do with learning cybersecurity tools and skills. So I, all my life, I've always wondered why are some people successful and why are some people failures? They could have the same background, opportunities, certifications, same everything, same input, yet their output or their results are totally different. I have done a lot of reading on this topic and I have come across the answer. And in this video, I'm gonna share with it with you. And stay to the end because you never know what you could learn and it could change your life forever. And then you'll forever just be successful at everything that you do in life. And the things that I'm gonna go over are number one thing, your mental awareness. Number two, your mental cognition. Number three, IT principles. Number four, IT disciplines. Number six at the top, then you're gonna to wanna to learn cybersecurity and IT security processes, tools, and things of that sort. If you have any doubts when you're trying to change into cybersecurity, tell me about them. What are they? Put them in the comments below as I'm sure other people are experiencing the same thing. Also, I do have a free resume template below. So if you sign up for that, you'll also sign up for up and upcoming resume and cybersecurity courses that I will be making. Let's get into the video. And the first thing that I'm going to start with is what is your mental awareness? And the mental awareness is, it's basically your operating system. What do you believe is possible? What do you believe about yourself? What do you believe that you can achieve? And what's your confidence level? Because I'm telling you, if you don't have confidence, you can do this, then you might as well just quit now as you really are gonna like, there's gonna be some challenges. And if you don't have the confidence that you can do it, you're just gonna quit who you are as a person. What is your identity? You're gonna have to make a shift here. So for instance, the growth mindset versus the fixed mindset. Do you have a growth mindset thinking that you can learn anything? Or do you have a fixed mindset where you think it's all just based on IQ and some people are just smart and some people are just dumb? That kind of linear thinking isn't a good way to view the world in the 2021. Do you ever wonder why you do the things that you do. And I have to be careful with this because things are so automatic and unconscious, you don't even realize you're doing it. So make sure to take inventory of what exactly you're doing and then question, why am I doing this? It seems really simple, but once you start questioning, what, what am I actually doing? You're just like, I think I'm just operating on unconscious behavior right now. And the best way that I have found to improve my mental awareness, and it's still not that great, is through meditation. So for 20 minutes a day, I meditate. And this is by far the best thing that I can tell you to do because it allows you to give a third perspective view on your thoughts you kind of disassociate. So you're able to inspect your thoughts and see kind of rogue traffic going through. The second principle that you need to master is mental cognition. And this is what are your planning skills? What is the formation of knowledge? What is the memory and working memory? What is the judgment and your reasoning processes? How do you logically work through things? What are your problem solving abilities? And I do have a video right here on how to solve any problem in tech. Uh, check that out. So this, people think this is fixed. You just think some people are naturally good at planning or you just think some people are naturally good at organizing. And that may be true. Some people have a liking for it. I'm honestly like, I don't like doing it. So I'm really scattered, but I can still learn new processes. And that's the key here. You can learn new processes. So I took a course on project management. You can check that out. And I learned all about project management. I took courses on note taking and I learned all about how to note take and that changed my life. To be honest, that was a great course. You should check that out. Tiago for building a second brain. And you can also read the rules of logic and learn about that. So if you have a good mental awareness, then you can evaluate what you're good at and what you're not good at without it hurting your feelings. And what are your mental models? For instance, I've held jobs in networking, system administration, cybersecurity, help desk, IT support. So I have all of these different mental models and I've taken various courses in databases, cloud, courses not related to IT at all. 
I just love learning. And so I have all of these mental models that I can apply to various problems. And that comes through experience, of course, but it does go along with mental cognition. What mental models do you have in viewing the world? And you're gonna want to evaluate old, outdated beliefs and systems. For instance, things that I learned seven years ago may not be applicable to today. So I always have to debug myself and look for different programs and malware, do some malware analysis on myself and find systems that are rogue or outdated and just belief systems that are kind of keeping me from succeeding. Also pattern recognition because it's gonna be really important at this level and you only you'll like gain this really through experience. And this is where you just see the same problems over and over and you can quickly solve it. Whereas when you first began, it was probably extremely difficult. And also problem solving. So how do you solve problems? So I know that was a lot. And these things aren't going to be quick. <laughs> So I'm just bringing them to your awareness. So right now, take out a pen and paper and write down, what do you believe about yourself? What do you believe is possible for you? Do you think that you're a technical person? Do you actually think that you can get a job in cybersecurity? Leave a comment below if you want so maybe someone else will find your answers helpful. The next one is going to be IT principles. Now IT is business facing, so it's a lot different than other technical fields such as software development, which can be customer facing, but it could also not be. And here you're really going to want to discover your principles. You, you don't want to follow the crowd here. You're going to get your first job and you don't want to acquire bad obsessed. And this is rare to see in IT, to be honest. So if you have a principle of being customer obsessed and you just want to solve their problems as quickly, promptly, and efficiently, you'll forever have a job and you'll probably be promoted pretty quickly because most people aren't doing that. A cybersecurity principle would be zero trust principle. And this is basically just remember that nothing is safe. You should look at everything suspiciously because there is no 100% safe anything. You need to know confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So these would be cybersecurity principles and that kind of goes along with customer obsession. So you don't want outages, you don't want their data to be breached, and you don't want their data to be changed. This, this is really important cybersecurity principle, but really just IT in general. Once you get a good basis of the cybersecurity principles and you worked on your mental cognition, this is where you're gonna wanna learn different disciplines in cybersecurity, but also IT. So cybersecurity, you're gonna need to know about databases, networking, operating systems, a little bit of programming, cloud. You're gonna need to know a little bit of everything. Maybe not when you first begin, but you, you should definitely educate yourself on various disciplines. So what this does is it gives you different mental models to view various problems, and it makes you very valuable because you can pinpoint something extremely quickly that other people just overlook. And there are tons of good classes to learn all of these for really cheaply. The Google Database Professional Career Certificate is really good. The Google IT Support Career Certification is really good. You can check those out below. Pluralsight is really good and they have a free 30-day trial if you want to check that out. There's tons of great learning opportunities and if you do use the link below, I do have some special discounts if you use my link. Once you're familiar with different IT disciplines, you don't need to be a pro then you can start working on learning processes. And I know this is a lot, and you're not gonna get all of this done in a week or two weeks, but you definitely could make a lot of progress in say six months or a year. And this is where you're gonna learn the processes, and it's gonna be like how to use Wireshark, how to use web application firewalls. And if you just go straight to this without working on your mental attitude, your mental awareness, your mental cognition, without really knowing anything about IT or cybersecurity principles, or, or really what infrastructure is or programming if that's what you're wanting to go into, then it's just kind of a waste of time to learn how to read Wireshark PCAP if you don't know, know what a network is. Or if you don't know what a router and switch is, then you really shouldn't be 
learning how to use Wireshark because that's silly. And so that concludes this vi video below. If you're confused about anything or if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Also like and comment. Check out these videos up here if you want to learn more about cybersecurity. And also I do have a free template below that you can check out and sign up for up and coming courses that I have coming out. Thanks.